there, there's this joke, and I think it made it into it being a meme, and it was about a guy who was all buffed up and had big arms and shoulders and really great abs, but he had these really skinny legs. He kept missing leg day. And I think psychologically, that's sort of what art is, is that if you incorporate art into your everyday process, you're not missing leg day. I think is um, is important for us as human beings to be able to to work. You know, if we're only caught up in one particular aspect, then the diversity of solutions that we have become limited. Mm -hmm. But I think that if we could expand into other areas of thinking, even if it's just for a short time or in a small space, mm -hmm. uh, that allows our bubble to be better. I think that's another reason why we should have, you know, team diversity. You know, whether we're talking about a political situation and having a lot of different perspectives from different groups of people who have different cultural backgrounds, or if we have a technology and people who are thinking philosophically and people who are thinking on other levels, if we don't have that in our teams, then our teams aren't as effective as they could be. I think it's interesting, oftentimes, I think art students have this ability um, to see things in different ways uh, than, say, you're, you're a regular student, right? Um, but I think sometimes they lack the technical ability um, to do a particular thing. And I think both of those things have to go hand in hand. Um, you have to have the ability to think in ways that aren't normal or aren't um, the the average or the mean solution, right? Mm -hmm. um, but you also have to have a level of um, technical prowess to apply that idea. So you can have concept, but you also need to balance that with application. You have to have both of those things to work in harmony. There's a synergy there. Mm -hmm. uh, you can do that in teams of different people that have different skills that work well collaboratively. But I think it's important to develop those things within ourselves as well. You know, as a, as a professor, I have students that say, hey, why do I got to take English or why do I have to take math? And they don't realize that that's part of, of thinking about things from a lot of perspectives. That provides an intellectual diversity that rounds us out. It keeps us from missing leg depth, so we're not the big muscle guy up top and we have these skinny pencil legs at the bottom. You know, we need to have all of these things, these tools, or at least the fact that, that we understand that these tools exist, um, and that makes us better at what we do. And I think that's why art is important, even in, in early education. You know, K-12 education, art is important because it allows us to think about things in different ways. It's a different type of abstract thinking, um, not unlike algebra in some ways. But what, what we're talking about is color, shape, form, line, activation of space, and, you know, how to, how to compose things to communicate an idea to somebody else. I think that's uh, an important thing, especially in a time when we see less and less funding uh, for art um, and throughout the, the educational strategy.